All right, just shot from the deer blind over here. You can see some little specks of blood. I'm gonna follow the deer trail or the blood trail and see if we can find where he stopped. The nice thing is that we've got quite a bit of snow on the ground. I heard him crash back here in the woods, but I'm not sure how far he got, how far he ran. This is late season, it's January 12th. Seeing lots of blood. Let's see if I can go around the brush. A little less blood through here. There's another spot. He's bleeding quite a bit. Quite a bit there. Wow. He ran quite a bit. Hopefully I got him in the lung or heart. Quite a bit there. Right. I hope we find this guy. He ran a ways. Any sign of him? He's going off this way. Wow. And here he got back up on the trail. He's splattering. Go, dear. Back through the brush. And there he is. Just led us right to him. Little buck, looks like he has, he does have both horns. I thought he had one off. It's like not the best shot though. It's like I got him towards the back. We'll have to see when we get him back in here. You can go see it. Mm. It's bigger than the white tail. <laughs> You're right, it's a white tail deer. But it's big with ant antlers. Yeah, it's gonna have little antlers. Big, I think. He's a little guy. What should we do with him? Uh, eat. Eat him. 
them. What should we make? Uh, meat. Some sausage? Yes. You see his white tail? Yeah. There's blood on him. Did you want to fill his fur? No. Bloody fur. Alright, this boy is all field dressed. We are going to put him in the shed overnight. It's uh, below freezing, so it's perfect temperature. He can chill tonight. We'll get him up to the butcher tomorrow.